We're learning more this morning about a failed Navy SEAL rescue mission that left two hostages dead. A special operational force attacked an al-Qaeda hideout in southern Yemen over the weekend. The militants shot 33-year-old American journalist Luke Summers and 56-year-old Pierre Corky of South Africa. Corky was just hours from being released when he was killed. The aid group he worked for had agreed to pay his captors $200,000. America's ambassador to South Africa says the U.S. did not know about those negotiations. David Martin is at the Pentagon where officials say they've launched, they launched the mission on very short notice. David, good morning. Good morning. Although Luke Summers' captors were threatening to execute him, <clears throat> a member of his family is quoted this morning as saying Luke's father is quite angry at the rescue mission and that his son would still be alive if the U.S. had not tried to save him. While President Obama was introducing his pick for the next Secretary of Defense, the Pentagon was secretly gearing up to make another attempt to rescue Summers. Less than seven hours later, a team of U.S. Navy SEALs was on the ground in Yemen, sneaking up on a compound where Summers was being held. But before they could reach the outer wall of the compound, they were discovered. A firefight broke out, part of which was apparently recorded and posted on a jihadi website. In the midst of the firefight, a person was seen running into the building which served as Summers' prison. He was in there for only seconds, but by the time the SEALs got to the building, Summers and a second hostage, South African Pierre Corky, were bleeding from gunshot wounds. The two hostages were carried to aircraft and flown to a ship off the coast, but neither man survived. Defense Secretary Hagel, who had approved the mission before leaving Washington on a trip to Afghanistan, ruled out the possibility Summers had been caught in the crossfire between the SEALs and his captors. Uh, he was uh, murdered uh, during an attempt uh, by American forces to rescue him from uh, terrorist groups uh, in uh, Yemen. It was the second time in two weeks American commandos had attempted to rescue Summers. The first had failed because he was moved shortly before the raid. The second because the SEALs lost the all-important element of surprise. We can only I'll speak for myself. I can only imagine how Luke's parents feel today. Uh, murdered in a second attempt. Uh, came so close. Summer's body remains at a U.S. base in Africa, waiting for arrangements to bring him home, which are complicated by the fact that he holds dual U.S.-British citizenship and that this is a murder investigation involving the FBI. Nora? All right, David, thank you so much.